Before we talk about how kidney stones are formed, take a moment to become familiar with the urinary tract. The urinary tract includes the kidneys, ureters, bladders and urethra. Now let's enlarge the kidney to get closer view. Here's a cross sections of the kidney. Urine flows from the outer cortex to the inner medulla. The renal pelvis is the funnel through which the urine exits the kidney and enters the ureter. As urine passes through the kidney, it can become very concentrated. When the urine becomes too concentrated, calcium, uric acid salts and other chemicals dissolve in the urine and may crystallize forming a kidney stones or a renal calculus. Usually the calculus is the size of a small pebble, but ureter are very sensitive to being stretched and when stones forms and distend it, the stretching can be painful. Often people may not know they have a kidney stone until they feel the painful symptoms resulting from the stone being stuck anywhere along the urinary tract. Fortunately, small stones typically passes out of the kidney and through the ureters on their own without causing any problems. However, stones can become more problematic when they block the flow of the urine. Doctor call this one a staghorn kidney stone and it is obstructing the entire kidney. Fortunately, these stones are the exceptions rather than a rule. Anyone can get kidney stone, but some people are more likely than others to have them. Men get kidney stones more often than women do. You may also be more likely to have a kidney stone if you have had kidney stone before. Someone in your family has had kidney stone. You don't drink enough water. You follow a diet high in protein, sodium and sugar. You are overweight or obese. You have polycystic kidney disease. You have certain condition that cause your urine to contain high levels of cysteine, oxalate, uric acids and calcium. If you have a small kidney stone that move easily through your urinary tract, you may not have any symptoms and may never know that you have a stone. But if you have a large stone, you may notice severe pain in the side and back below the ribs, pain on urination, cloudy or foul smelling urine red pink or brown urine nausea vomiting fever and chills may also occur frequent and small amount of urination your doctor may recommend the following procedure extracorporeal shock wave lithotripsy or eswl through surgery called percutaneous nephrolithotomy to remove small stone ureteroscope is used parathyroid gland surgery if it is overactive prevention of kidney stones may include a combination of lifestyle changes and medication it include drink water throughout the day eat less oxalate rich foods like beets okra spinach nuts tea and chocolates choose a diet low in salts and animal protein